Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve this system of equation. Okay, let's call our first equation 1, which is exponential x times, times exponential y equal to exponential minus 2. And the second one is the product of x and y equal to minus 15. Okay, let's see how we can solve this system of equation. First of all, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you. So let's just see how our first equation can still be rewritten. So our first equation also implies that exponential x times exponential y is equal to exponential minus 2, okay? Which is again exponential x plus y equal to exponential minus 2. Okay, it is easily seen that this is again x plus y equal to minus 2. Okay, this is how our first equation can still be written. Now, let's see what our system becomes. Our system just becomes x plus y equal to minus 2 and x times y equal to minus 15. Now what we are going to do is to find the corresponding x and y satisfying this system, okay? And we all know that when you have such a system, you have the sum and the product of x and y. Now, if you want to find x and y, it is just sufficient to solve the corresponding, to solve the following equation, okay? To solve d square minus s minus st plus p equal to zero s here is the sum of x and y okay so this x this s is x plus y and this p is x times y okay so let's just replace the value of x and p and solve this system and solve this equation to find the corresponding value of x and y. Okay, so our equation will just become t square minus s. Our s is minus 2, so I will have here plus 2 t plus p. Our p is minus 15, so I have here minus 15 equal to 0. Okay. I can easily solve this using delta of delta equal to 2 square minus 4 a which is 1 and c which is minus 15. Okay, so I will just have this which is 4 plus 60 which is 64 which is equal to 8 square. So, uh, so as this is greater than 0, I have two solutions. So, I have my t1, which is minus p, which is minus 2, plus 8, divided by 2. Okay, so this is equal to 3. And the second one is t2, which is minus p, okay, minus 8, divided by 2. And this is just minus 5, okay? This means that this, this polynomial, this polynomial t square minus st plus p equal to 0 has two solutions, which is t equals to 3 t equals to 3 or t equals to minus 5, okay? And we can directly conclude that our x and y are these corresponding values of t. So we can either choose our x and y is equal to 3 and minus 5, okay? And we'll now see if these are really the good solution of 
our system. So we'll replace this value into this system exponential x times exponential y and see if it is equal to exponential minus 2. And we'll do the same thing to the second equation and see if it is equal to minus 15. Okay. So this is the value of x and this is the value of y. Okay. Let's just replace and see. If we take the first equation, if we replace exponential x is equal to 3 times exponential y, which is minus 5, what is this? This is again exponential 3 minus 5, which is exponential minus 2. Okay, so this equation is satisfied already. Now coming to the second equation. Now coming to the second equation, we can just have that. And just have that x we'll check if x times y is equal to minus 15 so x is 3 times minus 5 which we see directly that it is equal to minus 15 okay so this also satisfies the second equation this means that this is the good solution of our system of this system okay so thank you for watching the video please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you